good, it's Chef Bob, and today I'm going to be preparing some honey jerk grilled lamb chops. Oh yeah, I'm going to pair them together with some, some good garlic mashed potatoes, you feel me, and some um, good broccoli. I'm going to take these fresh herbs that I have, fresh cilantro, some fresh, um, fresh cilantro, some fresh parsley or whatnot. I'm going to chop them up, I'm going to chop it up real good, real nice and fun, so we'll have a file marinade. Lamb chops. Put them back in the bowl. Let's sit those to the side. When you season the meat, you want to season it in layers. You want to take your time and make sure every part of the meat gets some type of seasoning that you're applying to the meat. So, first, I'd like to start my eyes off with granulated garlic. Flip it over. Same thing. I'm only going to apply a little kosher salt to it because the marinade is going to be made. You know, it's going to have a little flavor and seasoning to it as well. We don't want all the seasoning. I'm going to go ahead and add our potatoes. This water. These ones. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and prepare this marinade. This marinade is a honey jerk marinade and whatnot. We're going to apply it to it. So, first thing you're going to need. Fresh honey. Get you about half a cup of honey. Add our fresh meat to go on it. Add about two tablespoons of honey. Hot jerk base. About a tablespoon of that, which you want to prefer. Last but not least, we're going to go ahead and add our fresh herbs to this marinade. Add you about three tablespoons of that. Olive oil. And next we're going to go ahead and whisk everything together. Marinate. What you want to do that, you're going to apply it to make sure all the meat will be some of the marinade. Now we're just going to just press it in a little bit. We're going to go ahead and add it. I'm going to go ahead and apply it to the grill. Get it going. Take all of our lamb chops. Put them all in one pan. I'm going to transfer them to the oven. I'm going to set the oven like a preheated at the preheated like 350. Alright, next we're going to go ahead and prepare the broccolini. Go ahead and add your olive oil and your butter to your pan. First, we're going to go ahead and add some minced garlic. Next, we're going to add our broccoli. Next, you're going to go ahead and add your granulated garlic. Make sure you season all the broccoli with it. Broccoli, should I say. Add a little kosher salt. Saute it, you know what I'm saying? Next, we're going to go ahead and add some fresh lemon juice to it. Get steam in, so get as well. Fresh ground black pepper. Alright, next we're going to go ahead and transfer our broccoli from the stove top to the oven and let it um, finish cooking in the oven. I'm going to get back to our potatoes over here. Go ahead and transfer them from the pot to our mixing bowl. Alright, next we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and take our potatoes and add our ingredients to make these Parmesan roasted garlic mashed potatoes. Add some Parmesan cheese to it. Add a half a cup of this the garlic. Fresh herbs. Fresh handle here, the whipping cream. Fresh salt. I'm going to go ahead and smash these potatoes all up together. Now that the mashed potatoes are done, we're going to go ahead and pair it with the lamb chops and the broccoli that's in the oven. So plate it up and make it look pretty good for presentation. There you have it. 
fresh grilled jerk, honey, lamb chops over parmesan smashed potatoes paired with broccolini sauteed and garlic, lemon butter sauce.